steps taken off to grow ganja for medicinal purpose, says Chief Minister. Vehicle falls into Lilong River, search operations underway. Hello dear, very good afternoon. You're watching ICB English News at 2. This is Lanchami Golmi, where we bring you the day's top story. Here's the news in details. Chief Minister A.N.B. Rain said steps are being taken up to grow marijuana plant for medicinal purposes in the state. The Chief Minister added that the marijuana will be planted at a few selected places. Chief Minister A.N.B. Rain was speaking at the inauguration ceremony of Horticulture and Soil Conservation Office at Sanjain Thong. He intimated that further steps will be taken up to replace poppy plants grown illegally on lands by horticultural crops. The state has been able to export organic products produced in the state to other countries. Recently, 150 metric tons of organic pineapples were airlifted to be sold in outside markets. The chief minister expressed satisfaction on being able to export 4,000 metric tons of ginger from Ferzwal district to outside states. He added that the state government is discussing to produce organic fertilizers from Pumdis of Loktak Lake to replace chemical fertilizers. Lemons of Kachai have been able to procure GI tech. I quite not an answer drug the medicinal Legalized or kind of hand by the highway port of the state government can again silly crying of Ganza as if as in a area called the Fazina Thala Kana Madu only for medicinal give in a Madu state na process or the Hidaki the Mutta Kanana Madu low we are Raduga Haduki by Abra having a number of people in the Poppy City. I quite totally Poppy City destroyed or kind of hand and a Poppy plant or river. Mapham Singh se, koi moida replace thonga na ba, moida livelihood thonga anba earning, amma pin na ba, madhu di kaata ina yara ro, hoti culture ka, ek koi ka, government ka, phajna farmers indu ka tied up thoro kanda, kari ina moida replace thonga nchi ke, hoti culture ke exports singa thana ro kanda, ya maru ina poppy plantation thauri ba mayam se, thuna replace thoro lo hudlo ke di, awa ba thani ngai macha amor. Horticulture and Soil Conservation Minister T.A. Sham Kumar and Principal Secretary J.C. Ram Thanga also attended in the inaugural ceremony. Three saplings were planted on the campus of the office as part of the ceremony. Minister T.A. Sham Kumar said as many staff of the department got retired, work process have been slowed down because of the inadequate staff. The minister sought the attention of the chief minister to recruit new staff. <laughs> Yamna high class, lower class, let anybody, let it, it be, voice note. Magi Yumlai Kade, Magi Hippale by present Haraba, even Bajana Kuaba, Yumge Kuaba, the Hippale by present Haraba, Yumaga Taxika Sik Naiba, Amadi Togolo River Kamba, Magi Nat Kasum with the Kamba, Yumasu with a Manab, and the Hotel Kasa department gave officer Singa, Matukuri Mani Purgi, Lomi Singa, Amadi Mani Purgi, Amba, Pogi Pazas, the Matuki, a one is BB than now. Amati Hippale Pan, where Matamatam give a fruit beer tree, may I'm singing Tabi Raga, and the Matamatan give horticulture, may I'm saying training Pibi Duna, where he come out of one of Quigi, visit the Yamaruina, Maniputa diabetes, Naraiva, the mid Urak Triba, Kansan, Ame Amzi, Yamkuna Kanga in a sum, who's in the Asia Guide again, the Queen, the Queen, Sari, which is that Mamsi. Is Anna Pimanama sing related to the Hortics Department, the Guinea. A vehicle fell into Lilong River at Lilong Bridge last night around 11.30. After fire service team along couldn't relocate the vehicle, divers of NDRF and SDRF with assistance from the police officials have joined the search operation. According to a van driver at the site, a Tata DI overtook his van and expressed suspicion that it could be the Tata DI. The number of people on board the suspected Tata DI is still unknown.
In a very unfortunate incident, a girl studying in class 7 was found hanging under suspicious circumstances in the hostel room of Standard Robert Higher Secondary School, Kanchipur. Family members of the victim expressed suspicion that she might have been killed. The deceased, 14 years old of Tangmaiban Maisam Laikai, is the youngest amongst three siblings. The family member said her parents dropped her at the boarding last Sunday and this morning around 6, they were informed that she hanged herself to death. Speaking to media persons, father of the victim stated that his daughter was a very humble girl and she had never spoken of any problem or fights in the hostel. He said that there were two robes hooked onto the neck and that she was kneeling as the rope was suspended from a height lower than her own height. The father maintained that his daughter must have been killed somewhere and later hang inside the room as there was also mud on her feet. He strongly condemned the incident. On the other hand, police restricted media person from entering the hostel premises even after the dead body was taken. The police personnel claimed that expert of forensic science were examining the site and that entry of the media persons might affect the evidence. However, media coverage was even restricted on the boarding campus. Locals of the area and relatives of the DCs expressed suspicion if the restriction on the entry of media persons by the police and boarding authority was intentional and if the authorities were involved in the killing. ปุงอมาหมกตีเวรมตราอสิบาบุตะคุยจังบะยาดิจังบะยาดินตอกเลยเลยอะตุยตาดิจังบะยาดะเบมารมจิปีวายบะเนคอยนะอิมดิชิด
Warang Amnula appealed to the government to provide water pumps set to provide cliff irrigation from Chakpi River and other gorges and also to provide fertilizers. Ujad Hold Pioneer Club UPC, Juribam and Veterinary Department jointly administered vaccines to domestic animals in areas around Ujad Hold, Ningsing Khun and Harinagar in Juribam. Now let's take a look at the national news. Assembly session in Karnataka has begun where Chief Minister H.D. Kumarashwami has moved on one client confidence motion saying the House expresses confidence in the ministry headed by him. The JDS Congress collision government has been reduced to a minority after 16 rebel MLAs of the collision submitted their resignation to the Speaker. Two independent MLAs also have withdrawn their support, thereby bringing down the strength of the collision to 101. BJP, with a strength of 107, including two independents, is the single largest party in the House. Karnataka BJP President B.S. Yadarupa said that JDS Congress collision government has less than 100 members and BJP has 105 members. He said, there is no doubt that their motion will be defeated. The shaky government is banking on support from the rebel MLAs to win the floor test today. Meanwhile, JDS and Congress have issued whips to their MLAs warning that anti-defection law will be applied on those who absent themselves during the trust vote. Union Cabinet has approved 1,600 crore rupees for Dibang multi-purpose project in Arunachal Pradesh. Briefing media present in New Delhi after the meeting, Information Minister Prakash Javedkar said the project is envisaged such as a storage best hydroelectric project with flood moderation as the key objective. Cabinet chaired by Prime Minister Narendra Modi also approved a bill to scrap 58 redundant laws. The move is aimed at weeding out archaic and dead statutes which have lost their relevance. The NDA government in its two terms has sent to the chopping block 1,824 old laws which had become redundant. Cabinet also approved the doubling of a vital railway line connecting Guwahati with new Bongai Gaon at a cost of Rs. 2,420. 42 crore rupees. The project will be completed by 2022-23 and will be executed by the construction organization of the Northeast Frontier Railway. It also cleared seven amendments to the insolvency laws that seek to put in place a 330-day deadline for the corporate resolution process. Experts said the changes would help in clearing various roadblocks for resolution process and smoothen the process as well as save time. That's all news in details. Uh, once again, let's take a look at the headlines. Steps taken up to grow ganja for medicinal purpose, says the Chief Minister. Vehicle falls into Lilong River, search operations underway. That's all we got with ICB English News at 2. I'll be back with more updates at 4 p.m.